all these pictures Woo! of us. There's so many memories oh here. Yeah. This is my favorite VS store. Me too. I know, it's, it's like a big candy store. How many floors is three? Four? Really? Three floors. Is that high? Four. I didn't no, know. Goes, does it go up another floor? Oh, look at Adriana's shots. This is so beautiful. Oh, sexy candy store. Oh, there's, oh, Stella. Yeah. Killing it. Can oh, I get a selfie? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah. I know. I'm obsessed with this collection. Me too. My favorite collection. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, bombshell. Welcome to Victoria's Secret Live. We're at our flagship store in New York City, and I'm your host, Monica Mitro. Today we are launching the new Victoria's Secret Bralette Collection, and this is the first time we are live streaming a press conference. We will be taking questions from top fashion press who are here in our audience and international press from around the world. Joining me today, you can hear a bit of the commotion. To launch our new bralette collection are the Victoria's Secret Angels, Martha Hunt, Elsa Hosk, and Taylor Hill. Come on in, ladies. Hello. Welcome. Hello. 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 I'm so excited to be doing this live. We've never done yes. this before, a live launch. So you guys all have on the collection that we're launching today. Yes. Which one do you have on? I'm wearing bra? mine as a top, as you can see. This is the seamless high neck bra, which is perfect for me. There's no padding, super comfortable. And I love that it's like a really sporty style. It's perfect for my style. What I do have to say is we have never had a Victoria's Secret model at a press conference before just wearing a bra. So the bralette really First ever. is a top and a bra. Making and you would wear yeah. this <laughs> And what do you have on, Elsa? I'm wearing the lace long line, which is one of my personal favorites. It's the one I'm wearing in the campaign. And what's so great about these bras is that it comes in seven different styles. So there's def definitely something for everyone's personal yeah. style, yeah. their body type. I love so it. Comfortable. It's not lined, but you can't see through it. Exactly. Yeah. Which just looks like a great cami. So and you want to show it off because yeah. it's so yeah. cute. So yeah. Yeah. And speaking of showing it off, Taylor, what do you have on? I have on the triangle bralette, and I love this one because it's so tiny and delicate, and that's like totally my style, like t-shirt, bralette, jeans, really casual. I love that it's made to be seen, you yeah, because it has the coverage, yeah. and yeah. I know all of you guys shot the bralette commercial, Yes. and you haven't seen it yet. It premiered last night on network television, but we want to show it to you guys now. I it's quick. It. Oh my God, it's very see. quick, oh but it's okay. such a We haven't seen one. anything, so no. we're really excited. We're so <laughs> so it's going to be on here. Let's have a look at the bralette launch. It's all rock and roll. <laughs> what do you like, Tay? <laughs> I like being free. Yes. Let the bra show and just bring it on. <laughs> bralette. It's all you need. that you guys have spoken in a commercial? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's like the it's first so cool. time I've ever seen anything like that for Victoria's Secret. It's, um, it's, like it's incredible. It's cool. It felt it's so effortless. real, yeah. Did like you know that we were going to use your voices? No, I, I had no idea. idea. I don't remember saying, I mean, what, talking, <laughs> yeah. how did they get that? No, we're used to being interviewed, <laughs> like, behind the scenes content always, during right, commercials, but I didn't know they would use it for the commercial. It's only it turned into this bridal shower where everybody's talking at the same time. I know. So we are excited to have the press here with us today, and we're going to have questions from them for you guys. And we haven't done this before either. So you guys are used to going on to TV talk shows. You're used to answering questions for the press. Yeah. We've never done it live. We've never shared it with our fans. So we want to take a question. The first question is from in the house, and we have Alyssa from Refinery29, and her question, hi, thank you hi so guys. much for Thanks coming. Thanks for having me. Is for you. Okay. Hi, Martha. Hi. Um, we were just wondering, how would you style your bralette for every day? Well, this is the perfect everyday go-to bra. Um, it's made to be seen under clothes or worn as a top, as I'm wearing, and it's super comfortable. I like to wear it when I'm traveling, going shopping. It's going to be the perfect summer bra to wear to festivals. I love it. And you guys get to wear everything. So we sample you guys everything. Yeah. And in your wardrobe, you kind of have different bras for different things. Yes. So it's not that 
padding is over. It's not that you won't wear padding. It's just that this is a particular style, and you guys have told us, and we listened, that you don't always like to wear padding. Exactly. Yeah, it's true. We know. push for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we really did, because mm -hmm. this is what we've been wearing for a while, and yeah. I'm so excited to see it come out looking better than I've seen it anywhere else, and it's just so cute. Yeah. Exciting. Let's take our second question. Um, this is from Caroline from InStyle, and her question is for Elsa. Hi guys, um, Elsa, I know in the past you would normally wear a push-up bra for a night out, but now do you think it's okay to just embrace, you know, a non-padded bralette? Absolutely. I think like the fashion right now is so natural and beautiful, like the hair is not as crazy, the makeup's not as crazy. So embrace your inner beauty and what you got and don't be afraid to wear no padding. It's sexy now. Good question. Thank you. So our next question we have, which is an international question, and it is from Jillian at The Kit in Canada. And you guys can hear Jillian, she's gonna come up on the camera. Hey guys, I'm Jillian Vieira from The Kit in Canada. Here's our question. If leggings can't be pants, can bras, or in this case, bralettes, be tops? Thanks. Good so question. first, explain the, so leggings can't be pants, what does that what does that I mean? Think that, I think that she's speaking to the whole workout trend yeah, that's yeah. going on right now, that you're yeah. taking a pair of Victoria's Secret workout wear and you wear it on the street as yeah. your day-to-day -day yeah. look. Which I think they can be. Of I'm course. Sure it's fashion to like it's be so seen on the street wearing yeah. your gym clothes. Like gym clothes yeah. are cute now. Even yeah. with like a, so, a knit sweater, like it's yeah. cool. It's yeah. the same with the So it's wear. the same for the bralette where it's like now it can be a top too because that's what fashion is going towards. You know, freedom, cut backless, cutouts. You want to see the bra and sheer top, totally. so you can be covered, but you can still feel free. And you know, I feel like it's gone from what's ever mix and match and yeah. what's ever comfortable. So if you're comfortable yeah. in yeah. something and you feel confident, yeah. then you wear it out in the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So exciting. So let's take our next question. It's from Christina from Women Russia. Um, Christina asks, I'm going to read it. Christina's asking, what would you say to encourage women who have never worn a bralette to try this new style? And this is basically for all of you guys. So if someone has, has always had padding, has always had cleavage, has always yeah. had yeah. underwire, what would you say to them? Well, you still get the support and lift with these bras, which is really great. And there's so many different sizes and styles for everybody. There's even one style that has more support for women. And you just gotta try it out. It's so much more effortless and modern and cool. I think that every woman should try it out. And I think yeah. everyone's gonna love it. It's it's the most comfortable bra in my yeah. closet right now. Yeah. And I, even at the customer event, people were very, like, you know, they didn't, they weren't sure if it was yeah. gonna fit their, you know, size. Mm -hmm. So I just tell everyone to like try it on and make sure that you'll find a style that fits yeah. for you. And also, like, especially on mine, I know that there's adjustable straps. So you can like choose how tight you want it and like the lift you need like for your cup size. So, so is yours yeah. the one that's all strappy in the back? Yeah, it has like a bunch of like little. Like, can you stand so up a cute. second? Yeah, and we love can this see. One. This one is like, this, like and like on the back it just has like one like thin strap yeah, across so the back. Chic. So and it's like beautiful detail. If you have like yeah. a backless dress, like they're little like straps and there's like little adjustable like yeah. things right cool. there. So yeah. you can whatever you want and whatever you need like at the time you can do it. So it gives great support like a bra, but it's super comfortable yeah. and it's chic and casual. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so um, our next question is from Taylor. I'm uh, sorry, it's for Taylor. Not from Taylor. Do you have any questions for the audience? <laughs> you will. Let's save your questions for the end. Never get them opportunity. Um, it's Erica at Yahoo Style. Um, we wanted to know what you think is sexier, a bralette or a push-up, and if you prefer a, a lace or print. I think that's really hard because it kind of just depends on where, you go, where you're going or what you're doing or what you're wearing even. But for me, I always find that padding is so sexy. Like, that's my opinion. I love it because that's my style and that's how I love to dress. And... I love lace, like I think lace is yeah, so sexy. Yeah. But a pattern is like, it just depends because if you're wearing something that's like super plain, a pattern is more yeah. fun, mm -hmm. you know? So it just, I mean, both are sexy, but it's just how do you want to be in the moment yeah. kind of thing. 
I just want to say for the guys tuning in, this is all really important information for women because yeah, Christmas right. presents, yes. everyone. Yeah, exactly. Birthday presents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you want know. to know how to wear things, how to layer things, yeah. you know, and everyone is emulating the Victoria's Secret models. They love to look like you guys, so how do they oh. wear it? Yeah. So I think it's really important information yeah. in the lingerie and fashion world yeah. to talk about how you totally. wear certain things because yeah. I think it's a for a lot of women, it's a big problem of like what bra to wear with what outfit and what gives them great support. But that's also yeah. the great thing with these bras because they're really meant to be shown off. Yes. So you can't go wrong. Yeah. Like you, even if the strap is showing, like before it was so much about hiding it, like yeah. having it a nude taboo. color and like, yeah. no, don't show your lingerie. But now it's like we're allowed to. We're it's like, cool. let it shine. It's fun. Like anything goes. Yeah. And I would also say it's really important to have a bra fitting because I know a lot of oh, women yes. see something they like, they take it off the shelf and they take it home and it doesn't fit. And yes. if you come into Victoria's Secret, you get measured. It takes like Love. three minutes. Yeah. We should actually yeah. do it every six months because they do change. No, it's, true. True. it's true. It's true. True fact. It changes. <laughs> like we all know. What bras every you six do months is like a good time no, to. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's such an important but part I of love finding this, a bra. The store experience here. Like yeah. the first time I came to America, I went here and I was measured and the whole thing. And it feels so fancy. Yeah. And then they bring the you all the bras. The first time I had like a bra fitting well too. Yeah. 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 Sorry, it was what? It was the first time I had a bra actually fitting me because I was properly had... measured and like yeah. they gave the bra to me that was going to fit me. Perfectly. And you just feel taken care of. Yeah, it's a world part. of difference to have a bra that fits. First of all, it shouldn't be painful at all, no. and it yeah. should enhance your figure. Yeah. Exactly. But if you have a bra that doesn't fit, there might be things that move around or things come out the sides. Or yeah. you can always tell when someone has a, um, a good fitting the bra. Right yeah, fitting bra. Totally. That's true. I, I do know. So that. I went off into a tangent on broadcast. It was really, really <laughs> important. Away, it was really important. <laughs> Our next question is from Iwa at Women's Health in the Middle East, and her question is for Elsa. And she's gonna be up there, of course. Hi, I'm Iwa from Women's Health in the Middle East, and we want to know, do you feel that wearing a bralette gives you the same support and lift that wearing a regular bra does? And also, what was your workout regime like when you were preparing for the shoots for this campaign? Thank you. Okay, so question one. I do think, like we talked about before, that this bra really gives you the same support. Mm -hmm. um, it's all about choosing what bra is better for your body type, and since there's six of them, it's very you will find something that gives you the right lift. Um, and this commercial we shot in LA, so we did like work out together once, I think. Yeah. yeah. And did you say once? A oh, while you were <laughs> once in my life. Well, we worked out separately, but one time we all went together. Yeah. So, the one time we were all. But it was all, after yeah. Christmas yeah. holiday too. Yeah. So we had some maintaining I to do. Yeah, it was in was. January. Yeah. It was yeah. actually cold as well. But I think as Victoria's Secret models, we try to stay in shape like pretty all much all year, year round, round because yeah. we have shoots coming up all the time. So it's yeah, not like, it's just more of like a mental thing for us to yeah. like be fit and be in shape. So. Yeah. But and in lingerie, you see everything. Yeah. So yeah. Everything. Yeah. And in commercial, like you can't retouch, you can't hide anything. No. So, but especially if you want to show off. Yeah. Yeah. Show off the guns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Talk about yeah, guns. guns. <laughs> so it's a, a year long thing, it's really. It's a year long the thing. Like eating you, right, you have working to be on top out. of the game. Yeah. You know? It's a lifestyle. And also yeah. to, to mm -hmm. have the energy to do these shoots because they require a lot of strength and yes. stamina. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then our next question is from here in the house Elena from Racked, and she wants to hear from Martha. Hi, Elena. Hi, Hi Martha. Martha. Hi. Um, my question is also a two-parter. What are your thoughts on the bralette as shirt trend? And then also your outfit today is kind of perfect for this one. <laughs> How do you make the call as to whether a bralette can double as a top or whether it's best left as you know underwear or just showing a little bit? Well, there are so many different styles and clearly I'm loving the bralette as a top look as I'm wearing here. I personally love this style on me. I think it's really flattering. Um, but also just you have to you know, work with the outfit. Like right now, slip dresses are really popular, and I think that this triangle bra would look really chic under a slip dress. And the front clothes bra is really nice to put on and off, and it's this nice halter shape. So I think that that could look really good with high waisted denim shorts or Elsa's um, Elsa's jean. <laughs> she has the sickest jean right now, and it would look really good with one of the seamless All bralettes. All these look really good with like high waist stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because like you get to show it off, and you don't have to show too much skin. Like yeah. that's always like the should I show, you know. It's a and I love it call. peeking through this blouse here. Yeah. That's another way to do it. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like you're, hey, here's my bra. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Little, it's part like of an accessory. Fashion. The bra yeah. exactly. is like truly an accessory. Like yeah, exactly. Look, yeah. It complements your style. And I love the little eyelash lace detail, yeah. like you were saying. The lace yeah. is so sexy. The yeah. lace is so, it's, I oh, love it. And lace. also with backless tops, it looks really cool because there's Just so many it. different strappy details and it looks really good with backless tops. Yeah. 
And right now is really um, festival season where people yeah. are starting to dress for like what they're going to wear at concerts. Yeah. And this mm -hmm. to me is very much that kind totally. of made to be seen, a little bit hippie. It embodies like layers. the whole downtown cool girl totally. that goes to festivals and like she hangs out with friends and have the best time. It's like, true because you could even wear this with a boho skirt yeah. or with a denim short and yeah. it would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Great. Thanks you guys. So um, now we're going to go to Melissa from Vogue Turkey. And her question, again, is for all three of you guys. Hey, Angels. This is Mavis, Futures Editor of Folk Turkey. I would like to know, in your very first Victoria's Secret show experience, were you A, anxious, B, overly enthusiastic, C, cool? D, overly enthusiastic means utterly anxious, but still keeping your cool. OK, let me translate. <laughs> <laughs> it was very soft. It was hard to hear. Yeah. Your very first experience with Victoria's Secret, were you A, anxious, two, nervous, three, very cool, or D, all of the above? All of the above, all except the, above. the very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was anything but cool. I was so nervous because I was coming from pink to Victoria's Secret, and it was a huge deal. Yeah. And it was like, I think Candace was on set, and like Bahati, and like all the girls that I've been looking up to like yeah. for years. So it was a really, it was an amazing experience because I really felt taken care of. And that, like, n those nerves, like, yeah. went away after, like, I would say, like, five hours. Then I was cool. And I was like, wait, this is, like, such a family, you know? Everyone was together, like, hanging out, chilling. Yeah. You so. had a pink outfit your first show. And did yeah. you have another outfit as well? You, I remember you My had a wing My second show, I got, I had a Huge. pink wings. I had the only the pink wings year, right? for the second year. Okay. The first year, I walked cool. in, like, the promo outfit. And I was so happy. Pink queen. Yeah. Awesome. And you have a huge, like, it said pink. Yeah, right? the, yeah. the pink wings, yeah. Which isn't easy in underwear and high oh heels my God. maneuvering the, um, what was your first experience? It was recent. Yeah, it was, uh, my first Victoria's Secret experience was the VS Fashion Show in 2014, and I walked pink for the first time. And I was like, uh, first of all, I'm a spaz, just like naturally. And then just add like nerves and anxiety and excitement. And I was just like freaking out the whole time. Everyone's like, this girl won't shut up. And I'm like, I'm so excited. <laughs> you were so I was like buff dancing you. around like, oh my god, here I am. Yeah. Like, ah. like all like crazy. And, but like, I had, the, I had a blast. Like it was a dream come true. And I was just so happy to be there. And I was like, I can't believe I'm here. <laughs> It was my first audition, like first everything. I just walked in and I was like, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna try. And then I, here I am. And I was you like, just oh my god. You just 18 as well. Yeah, I, it was like wow. 18 for like six months, and I went and I was like, I'm just like winging it. And I like went in there and I was like, hello, <laughs> here we go. It was crazy. Clearly, you did something crazy. right. Crazy. <laughs> I was just being myself, I guess. Yeah, that's, it that's worked. It worked for you. It, it worked. Still working, Always be by yourself, the way. everyone. <laughs> Look where it got me. What was your first? feeling about the show, like the anxiety, said, nervous, thing. so excited. And I was trying to not try too hard. There's a fine line of wanting to do a great job, but without like overdoing it. Yeah. So it's tough because you don't want to do the same thing every other girl does. You want to bring something original. But I just remember it being like the most fun day and night of my life. Like the adrenaline just pumps throughout your body like the whole day and night. Like, like you just, you can like, party all night yeah. based off of that. You're just like, hi. Speaking <laughs> of partying all night, um, I follow you guys on Instagram <laughs> and I saw that you were all just recently in Vegas. What was going on in Vegas? It was Josephine Scriver's birthday. She just became an angel, yeah. so it's yeah. exciting. Yeah. We, we finally have her in the family, yeah. so we were celebrating that and that it was her birthday, and yeah. it was so How many fun. of you went? It was, there were seven of yeah. us, I think. We wanted all of us to come, but everyone. clearly not everybody can make it. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it everyone was invited. So it was so much make fun. It, it was such a it was so nice. good bonding experience yeah. between all the girls. Yeah, we like, all we, love to hang out together, and we're all like really good friends. I, and we really do have the best group of girls. Like yeah, I can't so say it enough. Like yeah. I feel so lucky We're to be so working. Lucky. We get to work I with feel all my sorry friends. for any guy that tried to approach them in Vegas. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, actually, it was Did funny it to hear the chatter when we were walking through the hotel lobby. It was just like, what? What? <laughs> and we're like, look at What's us. What's going on? Got, What's going there's on? so many people everywhere. There's like people everywhere. And Josephine got us these jackets. Yeah. And like <laughs> Angel Elsa, Angel Tay Tay, Angel Martha, and like. Oh, great. Very we discreet. Were, I know. Yeah, we looked very like, subtle. We looked like security guards. Kind of all like walking around together, just like in a mob, like all black, like with the bomber jackets. And we jacket. went to the Pacquiao fight with our bomber jackets. Yeah, yeah. On, and they so. were like, everyone was like, even if they didn't know us, they would know us because of the jacket. You yeah, guys might exactly. as well have and worn wings. I know, right? I mean, we could have just worn wings. Worn wings. Yeah. Through the hotel lobby. Asking for 
lot of attention. So where are we now? So Amelia with Who, What, Where is here in our audience, and Amelia has a question for Martha. Hi. Yes, my question's for Martha. Uh, do you have any tips for taking an outfit from day to night during the summer, now that that's coming up? Yes, I do. Um, right now, I'm loving short, chunky heels, and I think that they can work great with a summer outfit because you can wear your sneakers or your flip-flops throughout the day and then just throw on like a little heel for the night and I think it's really chic and it can even work with like a little pair of shorts. I actually just bought a pair in Vegas because my, my feet were killing True. me and I'm like, this is my perfect summer outfit shoe. Yeah. <laughs> we went <laughs> Chanel shopping at like midnight. <laughs> Love Vegas. Oh, are the ones that you wore today? Yes. yes. Yeah. I yeah. wore them so today, like but not right now, like but later. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's okay tonight. to wear no padding, short heels. Yes. Girls were in luck this, yeah. this yeah. year. Yeah. Exactly. So what you short heels are on, cool. Like changing you your bra at night is not then, necessary. Yeah. Right no. It's yeah. just... So the I say like keep the bra and like put on a different dress yeah. because it's meant to be also shown. Also, a blazer so. over the bra is really chic. Yeah, even a blazer love, over this with yeah. like high waisted like mm. pant, black pants, like all black, that super chic. It Can you tell they're into clothes and fashion? Yes. <laughs> We're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Love. So love. the next question is from Renee with Fashion Magazine Canada, and her question is a social media question for Taylor. Oh. Hi, I'm Renee Say from Canada's Fashion Magazine, and I would like to know what's your favorite Snapchat filter? Huh. Your favorite My Snapchat filter? That's such a hard question because there's so many, especially with the face things now, like the funny little. I love those. Those are like my favorite. I like to play around with like the weird faces and. That is shocking to me. The goofy yeah. ones. <laughs> oh, you mean the filters? Yeah. yeah, like the yeah. face filter. Yeah, I, I don't know if you mean like the colors or like the... All of it. I've seen the rainbow. I just I've like, seen, like the puking the rainbow faces. <laughs> the puking the... rainbow is like one yeah. of my favorites, I have to say. I love... You did a funny one in Vegas with Jasmine behind you where you zoomed in on her and I was like cracking I up when that I saw one. that. And it warped her face behind you. <laughs> she wasn't paying like... attention to me either. She was like... <laughs> she, was... Pretty girl she had no idea you're just morphing her face. Hello. I remember one of the first ones was um, Fat Face um, a long, yes. long, long yeah. time ago, and you kind of put the eyes, and everyone just loves, you know, laughing at goofy pictures. Probably yeah. where they got the idea. Yeah. 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 I just did something with uh, my dog that was um, a talking pet that you can, like, find a frame of the dog and oh, then send messages so to people. It's oh very God, cute. That's so cute. cute. I need that. There's so we many good Snapchat. There's out. always we a way that. for me to, like, work Murphy into uh, my, my day job. <laughs> the things we do with technology. Yeah. Um, so let's have Erica from the Daily Mail ask her question for Martha. I think you have a lot of questions. I'm wondering, um, is there anything in particular that makes you feel more sexy or confident, whether it be a song, a morning ritual, or a style lingerie? Absolutely. Working out. <laughs> yeah. Working out always makes me feel my sexiest. Um, even right now when I'm dealing with allergies and I'm congested, you got to fit in that workout and you'll yeah. feel really great. And also just confidence. I think confidence shows with women, um, it's all about just being yourself and not trying to be someone you're not. Boom. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> Thank you. So we have time for two more questions from International Press. So let's start with Elle Canada. And this is a question for Elsa. All right. Hi, Angels. This is Lisa Guimal, Fashion Features Editor from Elle Canada. Our question is, what's your go-to pick-me-up when you need a quick mood boost? Oh my god, same as Martha, like working out all the way. Like get a quick workout in, you feel better. Like anytime I feel a little bit low, I'll go to the gym and like it just releases all the endorphins. Yeah. yeah. But like also like putting on good music. Yes. Yeah. Do you have workout music? Better. Do you have like a mix and I love and... 70s rock. <laughs> that's like all I listen to. My dad was a DJ in the 70s. So <gasps> that's so cool. I, I didn't know that. He, I, I, he would play like all these cool CDs and like, you know, LPs. And so this that is like so always cool. was stuck with me. I never like got into the new music scene. I'm like always stuck with it all. So when you're working hard and traveling and you have to, you know, this morning, what was your call time getting here? Five at the store? for me. So <laughs> when will you fit in a workout? Because after work, then after work, because yeah. I can't get up at four. There's no way. No, no that's too not worth it. So it just depends on how you're traveling, where you do. But you guys always you just have try to, plan. to. I always try to plan in advance. Like if I have my schedule for a week, I will look at it and I'll book my classes, book my trainers. Yeah. Um, if you're traveling, like it's a great way to just bring some ankle weights or like little, you know, discs. 
um, we did a train like an angel a session online where some of you guys did you know your routine so that people can copy them and yeah. do them in hotel rooms and things because I think that's the hardest thing for people is you feel tired you don't yeah. want to get yeah. up yeah. or after work you're really tired or you're hungry you're ready yeah. to eat yeah. it's like mm. but there's so, so just many workouts it. that you can do in your room and like just a really small space you don't have to go to the gym with all this equipment and right now it's so trendy to do like body weight training were yeah, you just yeah. using your body weight? It's I feel really like hard. Actually. It's hard. I just started working out that way. It's so hard. It's harder, but it's more natural for the yeah, body. Because I used to natural. lift a lot of weight. Like That's I would really? like squat 85 pounds. Wow. Like I would uh -huh. lift like a lot of weight. But then but I changed to, to like like um, model you, fit kind of. Did you see a difference in your body? Like Absolutely, in like three days, yeah. automatically yeah. changed Doing like what? that. Like it's like a model fit style. It's like um. It's like movements, so like with your just your body and like small weights and like gliders and it's like really yeah. slow, like controlled motion and it targets yeah. like different muscles that I've never used yeah. before from just lifting weights. Like wow. it's insane. It's insane. You get you target so many more areas. Yeah. yeah. What do you wear when you work out? VSX, of yeah. course. It's just curious. Well, I really I'm like to they wear now like have the, the online sport bras yeah. as well, which are really, really cute. Those. I love wearing them. Yeah. So so but cool even, things. but you have to be smart about it as well. You don't want to overdo it. Like sometimes just 20 minutes is enough, just yeah. as long as you find time to fit it in. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. We, I always say to the um, people in my office too, is we're all sitting there sometimes at our desk all day, and we try to like get up once an hour, like you know, yeah. we had somebody that ringing so a bell hard. and like get up and do. They have like yeah. at your desk exercises. You should do things. like plank competitions and like at lunch hour. You should do a plank competition. Like, you should have a workout. <laughs> Tomorrow like, we're starting class yeah. once like, a day. Where everyone like gets up from the chairs yeah. and like do like a routine. That'd be so fun. That's a really great idea. That's a great idea. I, someone's taking it. notes, so we're going to do I that. I do love that Victoria's Secret embraces working out so yeah, much. Yeah, totally. Like, it's all about strong, empowered, confident women. Just healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And people know that you guys do eat right, you exercise, yeah. you have to just maintain a healthy I feel like lifestyle. This is the one like job in modeling that we're allowed to like be healthy and like work out a lot. Mm -hmm. Like we yeah. were talking have before, a body. like Taylor's doing like all this fashion week and it's hard. Yeah, you know? it's really hard on your body. Yeah. So it's so refreshing mm -hmm. to come back to New York and work for Victoria's Secret, and I can go back to the gym and like you know have time to eat and eat, drink protein shakes and like yeah. feel really good. Yeah. Like, like replenish. I'm having a lot of. Because I know it's not easy. Like, fashion week. No. no. Fashion month. More like fashion, fashion month. month. Fashion year, really. Yeah, exactly. You guys. <laughs> um, we have time for one more question, and this comes from Madison at Harper's Bazaar, Arabia, and here's the question, and it's for Taylor. Hi, this is Madison Glendinning from Harper's Bazaar Arabia in Dubai. Taylor, our readers would love to know what your favorite moment with your fellow Victoria's Secret Angels has been so far. Your favorite moment? Pick one. <laughs> My favorite moment of being an angel? Mm -hmm. I think for me it was the fashion show this year because I was announced as an angel in April, like six months before, and it never really hit me. And like I was doing shoots or whatever, and like, yeah, I was an angel. But then once you're like in the show and you're around all the other angels and we're all there together, and you kind of really get a, more of a sense of community with all your fellow angels because we're all there. And I got my wings, and I was like, this is it. Like it was amazing. And I opened pink, and I was like, I can't believe this is happening to me right now. Like it was like. And then you close with yes. Selena. So, yes, that and was I, cool. I, so awesome. it was like one of the most amazing experiences, and just I think that was like the moment where I was like, oh my god, I'm an angel. Like, how did this happen? <laughs> it's like when it becomes real. Yeah. You're on that runway. Yeah. It's very real. <laughs> I will say it does feel more validating to go to the show as an angel. Yeah. Like there's not another. Of course. Like it's it's like an angel. Yeah. 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 And also for anyone you that gets wings it. for the yeah. show, it's like yeah. that's the it's moment. So you exciting. Get wings. So I want to thank you guys so much um, for opening up this press conference to everyone. And I want to thank the members of the fashion press, both here and around the world, for taking part in our first live streaming launch. Thank you again to Martha, Elsa, and Taylor. And of course, a huge thank you to Victoria's Secret fans for sharing this with us today. Remember, the Brawlick Collection is available right now in stores. It's not like I'm reading it, right? <laughs> right now in stores and online. Be sure to subscribe to the Victoria's Secret YouTube channel and watch this live stream and all our other great content these ladies are in. This is a wrap from New York City. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for coming. Thank you, guys. That was good.